Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful lacy pendant only with seed beads and pearls. It's easy to make, I'm showing step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I release absolutely free uh, upcoming videos two times a week. And you also will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment. And you don't know how much of a support this is. If you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And I have another announcement to make. I have a second channel when I where I post short clips of all of my videos and you could see the short clip of this video down there in description and in just two three minutes decide if you feel like making it or not and this will save you time and if you enjoy the process of creations you could go on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips using the link down there and subscribe also for new inspiration and down there in description I also have a full list of materials links to my store and to my PayPal for donations. Thank you so much for watching now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are 11 o seed beads in this beautiful color here I use 8 o beads I use seven of them this is three millimeter bead of the same color like this one and this is for the center of my work if you want you could skip this one not add anything in the center but I prefer to add this is pendant holder or a bale also called a bale this is chain of your choice you could use any chain you have to put this pendant on and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and uh, you could use 0 0.16 or 0 0.14 it doesn't matter that much this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and i use them to go through the difficult bits and to attach this bale and now i'm going to take about two feet of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and now i'm going to start with the famous herringbone stitch and i'm starting by picking up two seed beads of this beautiful silver color and if you don't know this stitch don't worry i'm showing it really easy and slowly so i'm sliding those beads down like this i'm sticking my needle in my mat and here guys what i want to do is make a knot and i'm making it by making a loop and going twice through this loop i've made and i pull and then I'm going to make one more knot just like this and I pull again okay now I have this and I want my beads guy to stay next to each other that is why I'm going here in this direction in my next bead and I pull okay and when i pull i have this my beads stay next to each other okay guys and i'm going to continue by taking two more of these beautiful seed beads and as i'm exiting from this one here if you don't see my thread i'm going through the other one just like this and i pull okay and when i pull i have this and now guys my in my next step I'm going back through these two beads just like that and now guys I have two rows of herringbone yes it's that easy and now I'm going to take two more seed beads and I go back through one of my beads okay like this then I go in this direction with my thread and I go through these two seed beads here and I pull okay I have three rows and again I'm taking two seed beads going here in this direction pulling 
pulling tight go back like this and go through these two seed beads in this direction just like that four rows and now i'm going to make my fifth row taking two going here then in this direction and like this and now guys i have five rows and i want to make 20 rows of this stitch and i'll do this off camera and i'll be back if you forgot how i'm doing this just rewind this video and it is absolutely the same all the steps are the same only the first one is a little bit different okay make 20 rows and i'll be back okay guys and now i have 19 rows and this is the 20th row and i'm going in the same way through this bead back and then again in this direction okay now guys i have those 20 beads here and in my next step i want to stick together those two ends of my work and in my first step I will bend it like this and as I'm exiting here I will go back through these two beads in this direction and I'm going to pull like this and then like this and then again through these two beads pull again and then again through these two here you could use your pliers if it's too tight okay then i will turn in this direction and i'm going through these two beads then back through these two through the neighbor two pull then go back here okay now guys i have this and i will stick here the, my needle in my mat and i want to cut this tail thread here because it's on my way all the time okay now guys i have this and i want to attach my pearl here my bead or my pearl okay now what i do as i'm exiting from these two beads here i will go through four more beads okay i'm going through four beads one two three four okay and i pull just like this then as i'm here i'm six beats away from the beginning and i will go here between those four beats okay you see in which hole i go between one two three four beats to the center okay now i'm here inside my work and i'm going to take one of my pearls or beads okay and i want to go at the same place here i'm counting one two three four five six and after the sixth one i'm going here in the center between the four beads okay you see here and then I pull now I have this and in my next step I want to reinforce this one that is why I'm going in the neighbor hole here okay between the next four beads and I pull just like this then I find the hole of my pearl and I also go here through the neighbor hole where I was going through 
then back through the same hole and back here at the edge and you could do this back and forth until you feel your pearl here in the center is really secure and then you could go in this direction find a place to make a knot let's say here and I'm making here a knot by making a loop with my thread okay and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made I pull and then guys what I do is that I go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this step with making a knot several times but when you're ready with the last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now one of my elements is ready and I need seven of those that's why I'm going to make six more and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and now I have all of those elements, I have seven of them, off camera I'd made six more and now I'm going to show you how to connect them in a pendant or an earring, whatever you prefer to make. Okay and I'm taking one of them and I'm taking new thread here on my needle and what I'm going to do is go here through some beads make a knot and connect this new longer thread on my work okay so i went through two seed beads and now i'm making here a loop i'm going once and i'm going second time through this loop i've made and you could go even third time if you want to be really sure that it's all tight and secure and pull and now I will go three beads from here. Okay, just like that. And now guys, my thread is attached to one of my elements. I'm going to cut this tail thread here. I don't need it. And what I'm going to do next is go here through these four beads. Okay, you see here. In the center of these four beads. I'm using this center all the time. Okay, to attach them, to attach the pearls. Okay, now my thread is here exiting out of this hole and I'm going to take my next element and here you see I'm going in the same hole between those four beads. Okay, and I'm exiting in the same place here between the four beads. Okay, slide those down. And I will continue this, take the next element, go here like this in the same place, slide it down, and I will continue with this Okay guys, and I have my all of my seven elements attached here and I'm going to slide those down and now I'm, my goal is to arrange them uh, with the pearl to, pointing to the outside, okay, like this, like this, my, my pearl pointing to the outside of my work. Okay, now I have this. And I'm going to go around two more times through all of those beads, like this. Okay. Go at least two times around it. Okay, and I will continue this off camera several more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. 
Okay guys, and I went around several mo more times. And now what I want to do is go here in the center of my work. Okay, and you see when I turn it in this direction, here is my needle. Again, I'm going in the center through these four beads. One, two, three, four. And my needle is here in the center of it. Okay. So you see, maybe it's clearer that way. And this is my thread here. And now I'm going to take this 3 millimeter pearl and I'm going to slide it down just like this. Okay. And now, guys, I'm going here in the opposite element. You see, I will go here between those four beads just like this. Okay. And now I have this bead in the center of my work. And I just might want to go one more time through it. Back in this direction. I'm going here through this silver. And maybe here is the time to use your pliers. Okay, and then I'm going again here at the opposite side. And now if you need, just go several times to make this bit say, stay exactly in the center and not move around, just reinforcing your work. And I'll do this and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up. Okay guys, and I made some reinforcement. I went through my pearl from other angles here, just moving it to this side a little bit. Okay, and not to bore you, I did it off camera. And now I'm going to show you my next step. And in my next step, I'm going here through the sixth bead from the end. From the center of my element. I'm here and I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six beads. And after the sixth one, I'm going through my pearl and exiting at the same place. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I pull, then I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Going here and going here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And pull. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm adding my last connection. Okay, and when I pull, I have this. And you could go several more times reinforcing here this part if you want to. And when you're ready, I will show you how to make your last loop where to attach your pendant holder. Okay, guys, and after I, I reinforce this part, I'm exiting here out of this central place of four beads. And what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction. And I want to exit here in the center, here inside between those four beads. Okay. Now I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beads here and ten beads here. I'm exactly in the center. And here is where I want to attach my, my bail. And as I'm exiting here, what I want to do is take six seed beads. Okay, I have my six. And 
what I do is that I go back here under this thread bridge between my beads, okay, here, and I pull, okay, like this, and then I will flip my work and I will go back through this one one more time. I'm going under the thread bridge if you're wondering where I go. Now, after this last bit, I go again under this thread bridge in this direction. Okay, like this. And here, what I do is that I make a knot and I make it the same way I showed you twice before, making a loop going once, going second time through this loop I've made. And then I pull, and then I go through the following seed beads, and then I cut my thread. Okay. Now, guys, I have this, and in my next step, I'm taking this pendant holder. And I will open this one up just like this. I put it here. Okay. And then I squeeze back. Okay. I squeeze back, and now, guys, I have this. My pendant is ready. Okay, guys, and now my classical lacy pendant with pearls and seed beads, it's ready. You could put it on any chain you like. And if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you will be inspired often, usually two times a week. And down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page or on my Instagram page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And I have another announcement to make. I have a second channel where I make short clips of all of my videos and there you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from